Hello everybody, this is RedGamer75, welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. We gotta head on outside. See what all this shaking is about. Not sound like something good. Whoa, what we call the shaky? The whole ground is heavy. I thought it was supposed to be solid down here. Go quickly, Link. Check on the silly spike at the center of the pit. There is nothing natural about these tremors. That monster could free itself at any moment. Approach a pit with caution. Alright, let's head on down. Come on. Oh no. I think I'm too late. The monster. That's the monster I saw at the start of the game. No eyes? How can it see? The imprisoned. It's got no arms either. I knew it. The seal was given way. I'll explain later, but now is the time for action. We must keep that beast from escaping the pit. You must not reach the temple. So yeah, how could this monster even see? It's got, it's got no eyes. I don't get it. Get rid of all these toads. Get down and to beat this monster, I'll show you what you gotta do next. You gotta do that. However, you're not to let this monster reach the temple because if it reaches the temple, it's game over. It will be the same thing as if you died. <laughs> Round two. Two more times and I'll beat him. Because not let my animal run out. Come on. Knocked it down again. Time to go back in, hit that fin into its forehead a second time. Go climb it again. This way. hit twice. Round three. Third and final round. No, 
Oh, there's one left on that foot. I'm losing all my hearts. I better hurry because that beast is nearly at the temple. I don't want to redo this. the other foot. Run. Ah. Pick up the other heart. I'm losing all my health. One heart left. If I'm hit again, I'm gonna die. might be the only option. Yes, I got it. Let's hope it doesn't climb back up otherwise I'm gonna fail. Right, let's go. That's it, I bet it. Whoa, that's too bright. Whoa, all those black particles from the imprisoned. And it's gone back there. Now, Link. Strike the ceiling spike with a skyward strike and restore the seal quickly. Alrighty then. Let's head back down to the bottom. I gotta seal it now. Let's go. Try and go like that. Looks a bit like the Lincoln Park logo. Oh, in case you don't know, now that I mentioned it, um, going a bit off topic, but Lincoln Park is actually my favourite band of all time. I was meant to see them live, but unfortunately, Chester Bennington died, and sadly. I've not been feeling that well ever since then. Nice going, Link. I'll talk about more about it later. Through the imprison and only just begun to awaken and break its bonds. I impress you were able to restore the seal, keeping it captive. Unfortunately, you have only succeeded in buying us a little more time in which to act. The off you bet back into confine me is a horror of unspeakable power. Judging by what I saw, I will not be surprised if the seal gave away again soon. So you are left with precious little time to complete the task with which you have been entrusted. Return to the seal temple, Link. There is much to discuss. I was devastated when Chester died. Because it was my dream to see the band live. Truth was, a lot of people were bashing the new album One More Light when it came out because it sounded pop. I was one of the few fans who actually liked it, to be honest. Even before it happened. As you can see, the gate is nothing more than a slab of cold stone for now he is sleeping. Rousing for him slow would require great power. Yes, I believe a sort of holy light from your skull would strike might just do it. Really? Let me go do it. Ah, sorry to disappoint you, boy, but for now your sword lacks the power necessary to wait the, the gate. First, you and your sword must grow together. Mm -hmm. Foreign woods, Elden Volcano, and Lanunaru Desert. A 
A sacred flame is hidden somewhere in each of these lands. Seek them out and purify your sword in their heat. Well, only after your blade has been tempered by these three fires will it be for an info with the great power for which you search. Clues to find the sacred flames have been woven into the legs of the precious to your people, the blood of the goddess. These clues are your best hope of finding your way to the flames. Return the Skyloft to somewhere on your island is one whose knowledge of this old song points you in the right direction. Zelda! even saying this but I guess you all got to figure it out Granny. Me? Well there's nothing I can do to help Zelda. I'm useless. Uh, you sell yourself short my friend. You seem tiny you have the own will to play in all this. Mm. Link, go now. Trust in fate to guide your feet. Your mission depends on it as does Zelda's fate. Anyway, what I was trying to say was... Oh, never mind. This is the blood of the goddess based on my projections. This is likely the song Zelda sang on the day of the wind ceremony. I calculate an 85% possibility that someone associated with the academy will be able to provide additional information about this song. What I was trying to say was... People were bashing One More Light when it first came out because of its pop sound. And it, because it doesn't sound like anything they've done before. But I enjoyed it from, from the very beginning. Great Gorn, I have found some. Look, those butterflies that respond to beautiful tones of swelling all over this place. This has to be the right spot. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Oh, this could be a problem. I cannot carry a tune. I cannot create beautiful tones if wild animals threaten to roll me down here. What can we do? <laughs> and also... I think all that bashing on the oven could have been what contributed to it. As well as, two months before it happened, he lost one of his best friends, Chris Canelda. Lead vocalist of Soundgun probably has something to do with it, most likely. Yeah. I was absolutely devastated when Chester went, because I was really wanting to see the band live and now I can't. Let's head back to Skyloft. Enough with the talk. Anyway, after this episode, I'm going to put this series on a little bit of a hiatus again. Because we're starting a new Let's Play tomorrow. Not saying what it is yet, but it's something to do with Star Wars since it's May the 4th. We'll find out what it is tomorrow. Anyway, I've unlocked a new shield, the Sacred Shield. Let's go try and buy it. Oh no, hang on a second, I see you looking well these days. I don't know anything. Oh no, 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 no. I couldn't read that properly. So it's going for it too fast. This this is the new shield. Repair it. Oh no, that's true, dear. Anyway, I'm ending this episode here. Red Gamer Sony 5 signing off. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you all again in the next episode. Goodbye everybody.